Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. How are you guys doing? Listen, we've got another really cool sketchbook video for you. This sketchbook is from a student named Annie, and Annie has a ton of fun drawings, but there's a backstory to Annie's sketchbook. When Annie was really young, her parents gave her a ana medical anatomy book because they wanted her to go to uh, medical school. So it turns out she's got all of this great anatomy in her brain, and it's extremely intuitive. And towards the end of the sketchbook, you start to see that anatomy flow out of her in these really cool uh, memory drawings that she does. So she has a nice balance of fun ana animation type drawings, and then she just turns on the anatomy jets, and uh, I think it's a really cool sketchbook. Don't forget, at the end of the video, come on over to drawingtutorialsonline.com, click on the red sign up button to be put on our email notification list, and you will get a lot of free, very valuable content that's going to teach you how to draw the figure from your memory plus a lot of other tutorials are going to be emailed to you periodically so it's kind of a no-brainer so let's check out Annie's sketchbook and uh, thanks for watching <laughs> hey everyone this is Matt from drawingtutorialsonline.com we have got a packed house today let's just go around and say hello Hi. to Hi. all of our musketeers Yo. <laughs> Trying to turn it Where's the chocolate? The Where's the chocolate? <laughs> My chocolate. <All> right. <laughs> we have Annie's sketchbook. Hello, Annie. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks All right. for having me on here, Matt. No, it's it's my my pleasure. My pleasure. Um, all right, you guys ready for this? We're gonna be quiet in one, two. Okay, here we go. Um, basically, Annie's sketchbook is uh, a pleasure and a joy to look through. And as we look through this sketchbook, you guys are going to see some amazing drawings and some amazing progress. I mean, the, the, the front of the sketchbook, um, she's feeling it out. She's doing the homework. She's, what is this guy talking about? Peanut shape what? Um, but then as she gets her sketchbook legs, she starts to kick some serious butt. Um, and I did not, the legs, yeah, sorry. Failed page. Got to get all the crappy drawings out first. No, very nice. Very, now, Annie, tell us a little bit about like these drawings. These, aside from the homework one, like that one right there, out of your imagination. Yeah, this is one of my um, original characters. Okay. That I haven't touched in a while. And are you? What medium? Like, what is this? Like, what medium are you using? Oh, this was me trying out um, different methods of inking. So okay. on this one, I was just using a regular um, inking pen, mm -hmm. and this one I was using brush inking. Okay. And the last one was marker, and that ended up being a disaster. <laughs> Very cool. And that one is coal erase or regular pencil? Um, regular pencil. And okay. then I just add some smoke. And so this stuff just out of your imagination messing around. Yeah. And when do you primarily draw? Like when you commute or in class or when you're at home? Um, it's just if I can sit down because I can't draw on a moving vehicle. Okay. But otherwise I just draw all the time. Do you commute or are you at the dorms? I commute. Okay. So that's a homework drawing from a photo. You can see the complete different style. So you do it when you can when you're sitting down at home. Yeah. Sometimes when I get a little rusty I do these gestures for action poses. Nice. And then this is just me getting silly again. Very cool. Very fun. Beefcake. Beefcake. Oh my god. Beefcake. Okay, <laughs> love it. Love it. That's a lot of beef right there. And Oh my god, that's like the cutest little drawing. Holy, that's so cool. He's the cutest little fat kid. Wow. Love that. And then we get nasty. And then we get nasty. Wait, wait, that's a nice page right there. Very nice. I did this with um, the Crayola colored pencils. I gotta check these Crayola colored pencils out. They seem pretty neat. Um, animation assignments. Nice. More Crayola stuff. Good expression. I like that you're giving us variety in the expression. More, More. idle sketching. <laughs> So just out of your imagination messing around. Yeah. Now what was really cool, can I tell the anatomy story oh, about the anatomy sure. books? <laughs> yeah. You know, Annie's parents gave her an anatomy book to look through when she was younger. 
And when we look at some of her later drawings, you, when she really starts to get like her drawing legs, like no joke, um, you can see the anatomy that she has in her brain subconsciously back there starting to come through on some of her drawings and uh, just some homework stuff with the Bridgman. But I, I just thought that that was so cool that her parents gave her this anatomy book um, when she was younger and she used to look through it and then some of that anatomy just really starts to come through. Yeah, they, it was more of like the medical anatomy books, not the um, anatomy for artist books like Loomis. Right. Because they wanted me to really get into um, science or like the medical field and not so much art. But I took advantage of whatever I had on me. That's a, that's a really good story. Uh, Met drawings. Yeah, these are all from life at the museum. This was very early on in the semester. We normally don't go on a field trip, but we kind of got kicked out of our classroom by the school. So we had to go on a field trip. We were evicted. Yeah, but I, I really do think that this was a good experience for you because uh, I think after, you know, you start adding so much more detail and everything as, as, a, as a sketchbook goes on and on and on. Nice little figure right there, lots of little gravity infusion in that leg. Um, I was hired by my sister to do some logo work. Nice. Uh, more character stuff. Good, good, good. Me being silly again. <laughs> See, look at this line over here. Look at how clean that is. Look at how loose it is. I mean, now I start to see, like, when I say you get your sea legs, like, you get your drawing legs, like, mid semester, this is midway through this sketchbook, and you can see how everything is just so much more, like, stronger in the line department, put together, more flowy. And that's from, like, the four or five weeks of life drawing under Annie's belt. Very nice. Gotta get some cute little rhinos. Hold on. Good, good, good. Trying out a new medium. What was it? Um, it was a weird um, graphite tone pencil. Okay. It's, it's like graphite mixed with something else. Ah. Uh. And that's the same new pencil? That, that one was just me going back on color pencil. Okay. Animation stuff. More characters. Interesting. This is the first run through of a character design. Okay. And then I finalized it on the following page. Sweet. Homework. Yep. Good job. Gotta love that homework. More characters. Alright, now wait a second. Annie. Yes. What is this done in? Um, ballpoint pen. Do you guys see what I'm, and this is out of your imagination. Yeah. Now this is where, for me personally, I mean I love the cute stuff that you showed us earlier, but this is even better. I love this and I'm I just am so partial to it because I love how your anatomy is coming through. That is just so nice. If you look at the deltoid, the bicep, I love all that stuff. Very nice. Yeah. Scribbly stuff for animation. Still out of your imagination. Yep. So would you say about 80%, 90% of your sketchbook is out of your imagination? Yeah, wow. I feel like I, sometimes it's like everyone says to draw from real life and I'm just that one person who's just like, I'm always drawing from my imagination. Wow, I'm, no, that's good. That's really good. I would never tell you not to do that. It's just always about balance and, you know, maybe it's 50% out of your imagination, 20 from life and, I don't know, you, some from photos. I was having a ballpark day with the markers. Hmm. These are just some quick sketch stuff. Nice stuff. Wow. And how long do you spend on something like that? Um, I do a quick run through. The markers I usually do for like one or two hours and I let them dry and I give like a really quick line um, drawing mm -hmm. to cover it up. Wait a second. I'm telling you, you're killing it with this ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen, right? Yeah. Holy. Stuff at Staples. 
and out of your imagination that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's just wrong right there. Good, good, good. Good. Oh, here comes the beef cake. Oh, my favorite drawing in the entire sketchbook. Look at that drawing, my God. Beef cake. Beef cake. All right, YouTube, have at that one. I'll let you do the comments <laughs> in on that one. Uh, we have a little bit more beef cake. Gotta love it. Uh, then no more beef cake. No more beef cake. Now we have some funky bird who looks like he rules the world. Back to the pen. Okay, hold on. I mean, look at the look at the line, the muscle, and the legs, the hands coming out. Very cool stuff. And I told you it gets better. I mean, look at this. Just the volume in, in here is in, insane. And so this is a product of just drawing, drawing, drawing in your sketchbook, lots of content, and eventually it pays off uh, combined with some instruction. Uh, I love that. Look at the arm, the face, just all the different texture and fluidity of it all. There's a guy that makes cat armor. <laughs> um, just felt like drawing that. Cat armor? Yeah, they made armor for cats. You need armor against cats with those nails. Do some photos of um, some children's skulls. Children's skulls, cat <laughs> armor. I'm seeing a trend here, beefcake. Um, no, no beefcake. This is just some <laughs> gestures. Um, before I go to work, I was drawing some people doing parkour for like five minutes. Okay. And then this is some character design for something I was hired on. So you're still unsure as to exactly what you want to do, but you know maybe illustrate. You said something about freelance illustration. Yeah, I made plans to do um, freelance illustration um, character stuff because that's sort of what I'm doing right now anyway. Mm -hmm. And Beautiful. it would be nice if I could just keep doing that. But I'm fine with in-house. Okay. That'd be great too. Oh, this was me going through my depressive phase. It happens, the end of the sketchbook. It's like the end of a relationship. Some quite character design stuff. Sweet. Oh, we have our little sack midterm. Okay. And that's the end. That's the end. A that's ravaged a wolf dog. I tried to draw Cerberus, but I didn't feel like drawing three heads, so I mashed three dog heads in one. Okay, all right. Annie, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you guys for being quiet. Where's that chocolate? Is there anything left in there? There's a little bit. You want some? Come on.